here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to just be giving you a little overview of what grading between sizes is or it's also known as blending sizes which the blending kind of makes it makes a little bit more sense and if you are not familiar with it basically what it is it is it is taking your measurements and if you are in a different size range for different areas you are going to blend those sizes or grade in between those sizes to get a custom fit for you. And the reason that this is important is because very few people fit into one size range. And so you may notice this when you make garments for yourself or even just going to the store. There's always something strange about the fit. You know, shirts might be too short. The bust might not fit right. Your waist might always be too big on your pants to make it fit your hips. And the reason that is is because sizing is a generalized proportion based on really nothing. There's no standard in sizing, which you probably already know, and all brands fit differently. There's different measurements for each brand, but your measurements are the same. So when you make a garment, you need to make it custom to you, which is the great thing about sewing. So if you know you are taller, you can always add length. If you're shorter, you can take away length. Or you may have issues with pants and you may have larger hips so that in order to get a pair of pants to fit your hips, it's always too baggy around your waist. But when sewing, you just take your waist measurement and then your hip measurement and you can kind of merge those sizes and make the waistband smaller to fit your needs, which is really great. So basically what you would do is you would just take your measurements for what is written on the pattern. So like if you're doing pants, the waist, the hips, sometimes there's a thigh measurement in there. There's usually an inseam and you would find what size you need for each one. Sometimes you might be in a different size for every single measurement and that is okay. Everybody is different and the standard sizing is basically just a guideline to know what you need. What you would do is you would just take the measurements, so say you had a small waist, a medium hip, and a 32 inch inseam. We're just gonna take that. So you would pull up the small on your pattern and the medium, and you would go from the waist and then go out to the medium, and then just use that for your pattern. So basically, really, that's all that grading is. It is not very complicated. I will have a series of videos following this one about how to grade different garments, different sizing. So I'll do like a youth pants, youth top, adult garments, just to kind of give you an overview of, of how you would grade in sizes, out sizes to get the perfect customized fit for you. Because really, if you are sewing a garment, you want it to fit you. Another thing with grading, it's going to be more important with woven patterns and fitted garments. So if you are doing like an oversized sweatshirt, the grading isn't going to be as important if you are within like one or two sizes for each measurement. But if you're doing something fitted, it's going to be very important because if you don't do your waist in, you know, you could have extra bagginess or extra material or in woven garments, it's going to be more important as well because you don't have the forgiveness that knit does. The stretch will kind of help if you are too small, it will pull it in or stretch a little bit and give you a little bit more leeway there. But as I release the videos on creating different garments, sizes, and different pieces, I will post them down in the description below so you can check down there if I have those videos out I will post them and you can also head to my channel they'll be available there you can find me on Instagram at that so Bex I'm sharing some there as well and make sure you also subscribe so that when I do release a new video you are notified of it and if you have any questions about grading or blending sizes make sure you leave a comment down below and I will try to answer those in a future video or just respond to your comment with an answer. So thanks for watching. Bye.